belly is so big. It's high time I start exercising. I could go jogging. Nah, I need company for that. Jogging alone is so boring. I can't ask any of my classmates to join me. They run way too fast. Hmm, I can ask Pasha to join me. He is quite small, so I should be able to run faster than him. Let me call him. Thanks for calling me over, Jiggy. It will be fun jogging together. Mention not, Pasha. Enough of stretches now. Let's start jogging. Hey, by the way, while jogging, if you cannot match up to my speed, then don't worry. We will meet right here, okay? Okay. Let's keep jogging till both of us meet again at this point. Jiggy and Pasha both start jogging together. But after some time, much to Jiggy's surprise, he found himself lagging behind Pasha. Despite being small, Pasha was very swift. It took him 12 minutes to complete one round of the circular jogging track. Jiggy took 18 minutes to complete one round of the track. If both of them continue jogging at the same speed, after how much time will both of them meet again at the starting point? To find that out, we first need to factorize 12 and 18 and then find their least common multiple. Let's start with 12. The lowest prime number by which 12 is divisible is 2. On dividing 12 by 2, we get 6 as the quotient. 6 is again divisible by the prime number 2. On dividing 6 by 2, we get 3. Now, 3 is a prime number and can be divided completely by itself. So we get 1 as the quotient. We know that the prime factorization is complete when we get 1 as the quotient. The prime factors of 12 are 2, 2 and 3. Next, we find the prime factors of 18. 18 is a composite number and is divisible by the prime number 2. So, on division, we get 9. 9 can be completely divided by the prime number 3. On dividing, we get 3 as the quotient. 3 is a prime number and it can be divided completely only by itself. So, we divide 3 by 3 and get 1 as the quotient. This marks the end of our prime factorization. So, the prime factors of 18 are 2, 3 and 3. The least common multiple of 12 and 18 is the product of their common and non-common factors. We know that the common factors are 2 and 3. And the non-common factors are also 2 and 3. So, the LCM is 36. That means Jiggy and Pasha will meet at the starting point again after 36 minutes. That's because in 36 minutes, Pasha would have completed three rounds. In 36 minutes, Jiggy would have completed two rounds and both of them will meet at the starting point again. You are faster than I thought, Pasha. I'd rather come jogging alone. That way my only competitor will be, well, just me. <laughs>